What's up guys? So today I've got a really cool casual trick for you guys. This is kind of like doing a wally. It's kind of like doing a nolly off the wall, but instead of actually ollieing into the trick, we're gonna set the board up against the wall and we're going to kind of run into the trick. This is one that looks kind of cool and casual. You just walk up to the board, you jump off of your back foot, and you've got your front foot sliding up the board like you're doing a nollie. And then when you hit the nose, you're going to press on the nose with your front foot as you're putting your back foot on the board. And you're going to turn your shoulders, take your front shoulder, turn it away from the wall. And then you're going to allow your hips and your legs and your feet to follow. And then you're going to come off the wall and roll away. A beginner step to doing this trick could be just running up to the board, jumping on the board, and gnawing off the wall going straight back this way. But over time you want to get it where you can pop off and turn and be rolling forward. So the ground's kind of rough out here. You want to find a smooth wall without a lot of bricks or things sticking out of it. And you want to find smooth ground so when you land you can roll away. So this particular spot's not that good because the wall is just so rough. There's so much texture to it. So when you're trying to force your wheels up the wall with just your front foot, it has to deal with a lot of friction and a lot of resistance. So it's not necessarily the ideal spot for something like this. So this wall is much better. The wall's smooth. This would be a perfect spot if I was regular footed because I could just drift down this hill, but I can't really go uphill with this. I'd have to really push it. So I've got quite a hill right here. It's hard to even see in this clip, but it's pretty steep. So it would be really hard for me to actually roll up. I'd have to do it and then roll back fakie. So one thing about this spot is there's a lot of rocks. So when I land, I kind of just stop. And I don't know what that is. That's either asbestos or some kind of lemon cotton candy and I've never seen lemon cotton candy before. The other side of this wall is kind of the same thing. I'd be doing it and then rolling back fakie because you can see it's kind of a hill on this side as well. So some other casual tricks while you're just kind of standing around with the board. Oh wow, one, you could spin the board around with the palm of your hand. So with this trick, I'm just kind of setting the tail down. I've got the flat part of my hand there. This would be a little easier if the board wasn't flat on the top, uh, if it was a regular popsicle board. But yeah, just kind of spin it around. Now I stole that from that old trick tip video on VHS tape with Tony Hawk and Mike Vallely and uh, who else was on there, Eric Costin. And Bucky Lassick, Bam was on there. Uh, but yeah, it's a kind of a basic casual thing to look like you know what you're doing. Um, another thing I just demonstrated without thinking about it is popping your board up, catching it. That's important to know how to do just to kind of look like you know what you're doing around the park. Also, it's, it's pretty functional. You know, you want to be able to do this. So yeah, all I'm doing here is putting weight on the back, popping right on the tip of the tail so it goes straight up and then catching. So there's a little bit of hand-eye coordination involved, but it's not too bad. And another basic thing to look like you know what you're doing is being able to jump on the board and roll. So to do that, as I'm walking, I'm putting my front foot on and then I just kind of jump on. So I'm basically laying the board down and just pushing like normal. So I just filmed a long section of this video, and this is what it looked like. Now let me know what's wrong with this video. So if you don't have a flippy screen on your camera, then you end up getting stuff like this that's completely unusable. Well, I could have used it, you know, I could have just had no head for the outro, but I decided to refilm it. So I'm going to go back to the Canon full frame mirrorless system for some of my YouTube videos because I do need that flippy screen. This is the Fuji X-T2 with the Miticon 35 0.95 lens. But yeah, I'm going to go back to full frame Canon for a little while for these videos because I don't want to end up with stuff like this. 
So if there's a certain trick that you guys want to learn, if you know of an Instagram skater that you really admire, send me their content on Instagram or on YouTube and let me know what the trick is that you want to learn. Because I'm trying to become a more well-rounded skater with more creative tricks. So I want to learn as much as I can. And I will try to replicate that trick if it's something I think I can do. So if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, scroll through my page, check out some of my other videos. I've got a lot of videos on this page and then hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.